that what you're wearing? It's my lucky suit. Well, it's, uh, it's just awful. You can't wear that on the air. It's not revealing enough. But I'm an anchor, and I anchor dresses. Dresses the way I tell them to. Look, I know this is just the evening news, but it's still show business. Gotta give them something to look at. I think the people just want the news. Trust me, I've been doing this for 20 years. When people see a beautiful woman like you in the news, they expect to see some skin. I'm not sure I'm following you. Why do you think I hired you? Hmm? I don't know, my talent, my educational background, my experience. Let me make this very simple. Either you go change your clothes, or I'll reconsider having you as an anchor on the show and I'll find some other beat reporter who wants this opportunity. Where are you going? To change. That's my girl. You are gonna be so great tonight. I can't believe it took them this long to promote you. The whole crew has been rooting for you to get girl. <laughs> Thanks, Sydney. I just hope I don't let you all down. <laughs> wow, now that is an outfit. Well done, wardrobe department. But this... What, what is it? No, oh, this, this hair, that's just, that's not gonna work. What's wrong with my hair? This is a television broadcast in Los Angeles, not Uganda. Excuse me? It just doesn't look like our demographic. It's too, Ethnic. Well, there's not enough time to change it now. We're on air in five minutes. Just, just put this on. What? No. No, David, I don't want to wear it. No. Well, it's not really up for debate. You know, and while you're at it, give her some more eye makeup and foundation. What's going on here, Sydney? Come on! I have enough makeup on. Trust me. And I like my hair the way it is. Okay. So you can either put this wig on, and do your makeup the way I just asked you, or I'll go down to sports and grab Mark, and he can be the anchor chair for tonight. Your choice. Excellent choice. You should not have to put up with that from him. You're right, but he's the boss, and I can't blow this opportunity. Besides, this just puts me one step closer to being an anchor for Channel 8 News. Hi. Good luck on your first day. Oh, thank you, guys. Hey, we'll be watching you from home. I love you, honey. Break <laughs> a leg. Love you, mama. I love you. Oh, ready? Our final story is about Lucinda Perez, a local doctor who just received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Medical Association. When I first started out in medicine, I was constantly being told that I wasn't gonna make it. Uh, they told me that I, I didn't look like a doctor, I didn't dress like a doctor, and that I didn't even speak like a doctor. I stayed true to myself, and now I'm being blessed and honored with such a prestigious award. <laughs> what an incredible story and person. Sadly, her story is something that I can relate to. We like to think that times have changed, that they've improved. But just today, I was told that my hair, my clothes, and even my makeup weren't right for broadcast news. And because I wanted this job so badly, I gave in to my boss's demands. That was a mistake. As Lucinda made clear, it is more important to stay true to my principles and who I really am than to change. Just because it makes some small-minded people uncomfortable. 
For Channel 13 News, I'm Amara Jones. Good night, Los Angeles. What was that? Huh? I'm sorry, David. I had to be myself. Well, I hope it felt good. Because you're fired. When I'm through making phone calls, there won't be another broadcast company in all of North America who will hire you. Do you understand? Now get out of my face. You did the right thing, baby. I'm so proud of you. I know, baby, I know you're right, but we needed that job. I know. I know, but we will find a way through this. You know, maybe, maybe I should just kept my mouth shut and just play by his rules. Mom, look, you're blowing up on TikTok. I am? Yeah, everyone's saying how cool you are. Look! Oh. You've gone viral! That's so cool! <laughs> wow, that is something, all right. <sighs> oh, uh, I'll get that. <sighs> May I help you? Amara? My name's Val, I'm the station director at Channel 8 News. I hope you don't mind me coming unannounced, but Sydney gave me your address. You know Sydney? Sure do, in fact, we just hired her to be our lead makeup artist at the station. She quit after she heard that you were fired. Apparently, a lot of the crew did as well. I didn't know. But that's not the reason why I'm here. I'm here because I saw your segment tonight. And I'd like to hire you as lead anchor for Channel 8 News. <laughs> really? <laughs> what you did took courage, and that's the kind of character we're looking for at the station. Now, not only will I double what you're making at Channel 13, but you can wear whatever you'd like on air. You'll get no micromanagement from me. <laughs> that sounds it's fantastic. I, I'm in. OK, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> All right, well, I'll send over some paperwork. Okay, thank you. Great, good night. All right, good night. Good night. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there she is. Hey, Amara, hey, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Why haven't you returned my calls? Well, that's because I don't work for you anymore, David. Well, no, that's what I'm here to fix. Look, I made a huge, huge mistake letting you go, but I'm here to unfire you. I, I was just really emotional that day, and I made a mistake. We'd love to have you back at the station. No, thank you. Whoa, 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 hey, Amara, don't be ungrateful. Let's not forget who gave you your start in this business, okay? That was me. Yeah, you did. You did help me get started in this business. And then you kept me as a beat reporter longer than anyone else. Not because I wasn't good enough to move up, but because you had a problem with my gender and my ethnicity. Whoa, whoa, that is not true. That is true, and we both know it. So thank you for apologizing, David. But I am quite happy here at my new job working at Channel 8. Hey, Amara, Amara, hey. Oh, and the next time I see you here, I'll be sure to call security. Have a nice life. Thanks for tuning in. That's our broadcast for this evening. But before I sign off, I'd like to take a special moment to thank everyone here at Channel 8 News for giving me this opportunity. And for those of you watching at home, remember, staying true to who you are will always be worth it. Good night, Los Angeles. <laughs>